Hey, welcome back to Snap Vault Games. My name is Max, and I'm here for another Popper League. And I'm going to be playing Blue Red Fairies with Spire Golem again. I really like this deck, and I'm really excited to get into the deck tech and the matches. But before I do, let me just say my channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. Give me a subscribe there. It would really help me out. You can like this video too. I'd really appreciate that. And with that being said, let's just get right into it so we can get right into some games. So I played this deck a couple times. This is Blue Red Fairies with Spire Golem. And you're able to play Spire Golem in this deck now because of Fjord. Um, this is the new card from Kaldheim, and it's just a duel. It's a snow duel, and it enters the battlefield tapped, adds blue or red, and it's basic land types, island and mountain. So this counts as an island for Spire Golem, and it's a snow land for Shred. So it just has so much synergy in the deck. It, it's really good. Um, I've made a couple changes since the last time I played this deck, not too many. I started with three Spire Golems, I tried two, but this card's really strong, so I'm going to go back up to three, and our Augurs, yeah, they might miss sometimes, but I, I think this is a nice build of the deck. Um, so three Spire Golems now. I went down to one Behold the Multiverse. This card is really strong, and I do like appreciate it, its strength now. I've played it a fair amount, um, but in this deck, you have a lot of things to spend your mana on between, like, ninja drawing cards with auger and just like playing your cantrips so i'm gonna try one rather than two and instead of the second one i'm gonna have one abrade abrade's just a nice extra removal spell and it can kill bonders ornament um in the cantrips i went back down to eight so instead of four ponder four preordain i'm trying four ponder two preordain two brainstorm just it's nice to have a mix actually i like the four pon four ponder four preordain setup but Brainstorm can be nice late game with Ash Barons, and it can be nice to like put something back with Brainstorm. You can put back like, let's say land spell and then play Augur, and then you guaranteed hit the spell and you essentially shuffle the land away. So there's some nice synergies with Brainstorm too. You can kind of do this similar thing with Ponder, but I think a mix honestly isn't too bad. Um, and then we still have the four bolt, four scred, four counter spell, four spell setter, four ninja. Pretty, pretty standard as you would expect. No extra fetch land, just the four Ash Barons, four Fjord, one Mountain. And uh, in the sideboard, I've changed a couple things. Still the three Hydro Blasts. I added a Curfew because, damn it, Mono White keeps getting me. And this is also good against Boggles. So we'll try one Curfew. It might not be that strong. might be better than Echoing Truth, but we'll try the Curfew. Three Wrath Effects. Quad Pyroblast Effect. I had to cut a Gorilla Shaman for the curfew. As much as I love Shaman, uh, let's just try to let's just try the curfew out. And two relics. Um, there's a couple other options of like things we could do in this deck. We could play the fourth fairies here. Um, we could go back up to two behold the multiverse. We could go down to like anywhere from one to three bolts and play some other spells. But I'm gonna try it like this. I think this deck is really, really strong, and I'm just so excited to get into it and play some more magic. I'll see you in round one. All right, welcome to round one. We're against Sweet. Sweet name. And uh, I'll keep this hand. This hand's not perfect, but we have a Fjord. We have good mana. We can cycle this Ash Barons. Let's just leave Fjord and go. That's all we can do, really. wonder if we're against some type of blue mirror. I'm expecting that. Yep. Huh. Fetch for basic island, not snow island. Okay. This looks like it's uh, familiars, I guess. Like, it's like blue-white combo, basically. Sure. All right, now we have to just go cycle this. I need to get an actual island. Then I can just play Fairy Seer and set up Ninja for next turn. That's all I can do, really. I'm just going to bottom-bottom, looking for lands here. Go. Probably just going to jam Ninja next turn and just hope they don't have like a good draw where they just kill me. There's nothing really I can do. I don't really want to just leave up Counterspell and just have a 1-1. One, one. I need to get this ninja going. So it's not a turn 2 ninja, but it's a turn 3 ninja. Alright, Brainstorm. It would be interesting to go to bra for Brainstorm, because if I draw an island, then I get to hit my land drop, and I have 3 outs. And if I miss, well then I'm boned, but... I think I need to try to hit. I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty far behind here, so I'm gonna go for it. And if, 
even if I draw Fjord, I can kill this and not ninja this turn. So yeah, if I don't hit on land, yeah, I get kind of I, I'm fucked, but <laughs> like I said, yeah, I'm screwed. But uh, that was gonna be kind of true regardless, because if I just ninja and then don't hit a land, and then it's not very good either. Uh I I just got kind of tilted. I should have thought about that more, kept lightning bolt to lightning bolt this. Or this. So now I might get punished. Because I can't even scred this. So that was a pretty bad mistake, actually. I just I think I just got a little tilted, missing on the brainstorm. We just kept a two lander and just did not even get close to getting in there. Now I can't use my mana efficiently. Uh and I put the bolt last. That's pretty terrible for me. I know I'm drawing bolt. I just need to I just need to pass with counterspell and spells that are up. It it really sucks, but uh, I just I just punted there already. That's just like another good lesson why you can't just like get tilted when things don't go your way. I just made a mistake. Um, I think I'll just discard a Spire Golem. Don't think we're going to be playing that anytime soon. Not having the Bolt is super bad for me. I can Spell Stutter that. I'm scared they might be able to go off anyway, but I think... Well, they, they might be able to snap something also. I could just counterspell this. I think I have to. The problem is just now drawing bolts next turn, it's just not going to be good. Like, I can bolt a Sunscape. Negate. Oh, prohibit. Okay, makes sense. Now they're going to play like a compulsive uh, Archaeomancer, get back Prohibit. Yeah, pretty bad. Just sucks to start out a league like with a punt right at the beginning, but it's my fault. We know they have a prohibit in hand. I think I just want to kill one of these and not and do nothing else. It's so bad. I can just get ninja going, try to draw a land at least. If I draw Island, I can replay Fairy Seer. But if they just untap with Prohibit up, I mean, I'm, I'm dead in this game. Even if I didn't misplay, this game would have been a little rough. I just need to draw a card here. Okay. So start. I think I top top. Want another red source. Their hand is like nothing. Yeah, maybe I can come back. But I somehow doubt that's the case. They have double Sunscape out. Hmm. It would just be such a different game if I had just kept the Bolt rather than the Scred. I just like wasn't thinking about the game state that well because I was kind of like, ah, I messed up. I was upset that I like missed on the Brainstorm. So good lesson to be learned, and I kind of deserve to lose this game. All right, they have Prohibit up, but I think it's still better to go just play Fjord. They might they could up double Counterspell up because their Counterspells actually only cost one mana right now. I guess I could do it on their upkeep. I think giving them more mana isn't even doesn't even necessarily matter. I could upkeep like Scred a Familiar, but I could also just not just let them have these, and then I could try to kill like something if they try to flicker. I do have a Spell Stutter Sprite, sprite back up here. I don't think I want to just play Augur. Maybe Bolting a Familiar is correct. I most likely get to kill one of these. I just don't know if that's actually going to be good enough. I'm just going to pass. Again, if they get greedy and go for like a ghostly flicker or something, then at least I can like play, start playing some removal spells. We knew they had prohibit, which I could fight with spell setter, but I think it's better to wait. 
actually like the art on this island. It's kind of kind of cool. All right, Stonehorn is okay. I can't counter it anyway, but that's not. I don't think what this game is gonna come down to. Oh man, if I go to like bolt this, I think I'll just take the damage. I don't think the damage is that relevant either. Maybe they'll play something else. No. All right, so now I think I just go to bolt a sunscape. They'll probably prohibit, and I'll try to spell stutter. Just go for that. Leave the mold drifter around. If this gets flickered, it's not as bad as like if this gets flickered. They can't ephemerate right now. They could ghostly flicker, which would be bad. Okay. Now we draw counter spell. It's great. We can't attack this turn. I think I just want to scred this now. And then I'll probably just pass the turn with Scred and a Counterspell up. Oh, they're snapping their thing. All right, well, I can go for Spell Stutter Sprite, and then they'll prohibit the Spell Stutter. Alternatively, I can go for Counterspell. I think I should go for Spell Stutter, let this get countered, and then I just Scred this again and leave them with no Sunscapes. It's kind of hard for them to go off without um, sunscape in play. So let's just do this. They, if they have another snap, this could be bad. They can like snap this fairies here. Yeah, so they prohibit. I let that resolve, and then I scred this again. So now they're just getting a tap land just because. Another island, okay. So they're just straight blue white fans. Again, if their hand isn't that good, we can certainly come back here. They haven't played like preordains or anything yet. What? Oh, Moldrifter? Oh, Mnemonic Wall, get back, prohibit. And they're playing Mire, put Sunscape back on top. That's annoying, but potentially beatable. I'll probably attack for two. Okay. There's Bolt. Nice. Bolt is actually great because they're going to Sunscape. They're drawing Sunscape. They weren't able to go off before. I could just play double Augur this turn and then, then try to hope they don't go off. I think that's better, honestly. Then I can Bolt the Sunscape with like Counterspell and maybe more Spell Backup. Let's go for that. I could also just play one Augur and leave up these two spells. That might be better. Okay, Behold the Multiverse. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to play another Augur. Seems good to me. All right, they're going to prohibit the Augur. That's fine. So they're drawing Sunscape, and then they have one card left, as long as it's not like Compulsive Research or something. I don't think it is. I have a lot of gas left. Oh, Ephemerate. That was, that's like worst case scenario. So we know their last card is Sunscape Familiar. Okay, so we know their hand though. And they have Ephemerate coming back down. I can, I can potentially beat this. Because we know their hand is Sunscape Familiar and then, and then uh, Prohibit now. So, they're gonna ephemerate target target the mnemonic wall, but then they have to get back ephemerate. I guess they could get back snap, and I can't go to counterspell the ephemerate because then they just get to play prohibit like for free basically. So I'm just gonna pass the turn. I could, I guess I could just foretell this, but if they go to like blink anything else, I want to have these lightning bolts available. Also, I do have the option of going like, we know their hand is prohibit sunscape familiar. So this is actually reasonable. If they go, they're going to go to ephemerate this, I can go lightning bolt, lightning bolt. They'll try to prohibit the second one. Then I counter spell. 
and then just everything's in the yard and they're just playing off the top. I have to use two bolts to do that, but I think it's worth it. It's just frustrating when you make like a misplay like this and then it just like compounds throughout as the game goes longer. Sometimes one small mistake just like makes so many things go wrong for you. So we know their last card is Sunscape Familiar because they put it back on top with this. So we get to kill this. This goes to the graveyard. They're drawing a random card. Hopefully it's not too good. It's a preordain. That's really good. <laughs> that is really bad for us. Top, top. Worst case. And now they're going to like, okay, they don't have anything else going on yet. They're attacking for two this turn. Sure. And Ghostly Flicker, get back Ghostly Flicker, draw two cards. It's pretty much the worst case scenario again. I think this matchup's not bad for us. We have four Pyroblasts in the board as well, which is really nice. We have a lot of removal for this. I think just like with my misplay and just missing a land, if I like also just hit a land on that Brainstorm, it'd be a completely different story. I mean, these aren't that good, but I think they're going to have to do. I'm just going to have to try to fight through everything. I'm going to keep playing. Feeling pretty far behind here, though. So they got that Ghostly Flicker rather than Ephemerate. That's interesting. Three mana. wonder if they're going to start with a Flicker. They do not have a Prohibit in hand. Or at least not that I know of. Sunscape. I don't think I can counter that because I know they have Ghostly Flicker in hand. I can't afford to just let them, like, they can Ghostly Flicker for one mana now. I have to let that resolve too. That's the problem here. Just because knowing they have Ghostly Flicker, if I counter this and then they just get to Ghostly Flicker for one mana over and over and over. All right, I think this is game because they get back Ephemerate here. I guess I am drawing another counter spell. It's not just game yet, but it's not looking good. I have to just pass the turn again. I need to leave up double counter spell. And I can't even go for like a behold at all. I'm getting clocked in the air. Yeah. They could potentially attack with more stuff. Hmm. They're just casting a Mole Drifter. The problem is, we know their hand is Ephemerate plus Ghostly Flicker, so if I counter this, they can just resolve Ghostly Flicker like a million times. I think I still do it and just hope they don't like go for both things. If they Ephemerate, I guess I just have to let that resolve. They're Ephemerating that. Like it's, I guess they just get back Prohibit. All right, all right, all right. There's nothing I can do in that board, sit, board position. Okay, let's bring these in. And these. That looks good. Braid does kill um, the wall, but it's like a two mana removal spell where these are all one mana removal spells. I think this is just worse in this matchup. Spire Golem's not very good in the sense that like I mean, it does. I think I want to leave some number in. It just doesn't like have an ETB effect, draw me cards, or interact really. But it is good to have some number of, maybe even one, just to deal with like mold drifters and stuff. I really need to counter like a lot of their stuff to do well here, I think. I really wish I had access to some number of uh, like dispels. Hmm, maybe this is good. This kills Seagate Oracle, Familiar, their uh, one for the Stonehorn Dignitary. Just being able to get a two for one with that seems seems solid. Maybe I just board out all my Spire Golems and just like, if they're resolving a bunch of Mold Drifters, that's going to be bad for me. It's also tough for Spellstutter to counter that much in this matchup. 
could board out some number of those. I am getting quad pyroblast here. Hmm. Can also go down, even like cut a couple ninjas, just because they have so many blockers for ninja. Let's do this, just like go down a little bit on everything and have more variety. I think that's better. It's not that I don't know what to cut. It's just that like ninja, I could cut another ninja, but getting an early ninja going, especially on the play, I feel like is a good way to win. They have a lot of blockers for ninja though. So it's like kind of hit or miss, but going down to two, I just like, I don't know. This is like such a reason to play the deck. This doesn't counter that much, but it's just such a strong card with Ninja. It, it's tough, but I think I like just doing some cookie cutter cuts and Spiral Golem just seems a little bit slow, not exactly where I want to be. I think I want all the removal and uh, we can just fight with like Relic and our removal spells and just try to get our fairies going. All right, I'll keep this. Oh, you ponder. Yeah, this is not gonna be good enough. Draw land anyway. I'll probably just play Island Pass on the next turn. Leave up counter spells. Ah. We did shuffle on that. Chooses to shuffle, yeah. Ash Baron cycle? No. I'll cycle though. Get Mountain. I'll still just play Fjord here just because it's tap land. Okay, never mind. Now they know about Mountain. I'll just get Relic down. And then pass the turn. So I want to leave up Counterspell, and I wanted to deploy Relic. So I like playing the Mountain that they know about. Maybe that's wrong, because now next turn I won't have double Counterspell up. But I can just play Fjord. This is actually kind of a problem. Them gaining a bunch of life is bad for me. But I think I just need to let it resolve. I don't think that's what I want to like fight over, really. Like if I can like establish control of the game, it's not gonna matter if they're up 20 or 40 life. If I like get ahead on cards or something, I'm gonna be ahead in the game. So don't think that's what's important. I can't actually bolt that thing, but let's just go. Tap Relic, target you, play Fjord, and then pass the turn. And again, maybe playing Mountain was wrong there. We'll see if I get punished for it. If they have like a creature I care about that I need to counter and they have counter backup, I guess I get punished. But otherwise, I give way less information and this is actually fine. So it's not necessarily even that bad. I could just try to counterspell this, but... I think I'm going to let it resolve and then just try to bolt it with counter backup. I know they can have like either one or multiple counters up with this, but I still think this is right. All right, let's just try to bolt it. Snap, target the familiar. Yeah, I'll counter that. They could have another counter spell here. Looks like they don't. Nice. Ninja, okay. I'm not gonna play that yet. I'll just play land. I'm not gonna pop Relic yet either because Relic just sitting there means they can never like play Archaeomancer, get back Preordain, and uh, like they have to like just probably play an Archaeomancer or a Mnemonic Wall into this if they want to like, get this out of the way. So they might just do that now, yeah. That's what they're doing. I could even just counterspell this and keep my relic around because it's pretty annoying for them. Let's yield to this, get this out of the way. I wonder if I'm just supposed to counterspell this and leave the relic. Having this in play for them is also annoying. I think I am going to do that. Another chancery, okay. Well, I might just be top tapping four mana for this ninja. Hopefully not. Hmm. Looks like I am. Pass the turn. It's 
it's not like this ninja is even that great here. If I draw a scred, it is, but otherwise it's yeah, not necessarily even that good. Okay, another Archaeomancer. So now I actually have to pop Relic. You can just let this resolve. I guess I was supposed to pop Relic in response. They could, oh no, they can't Ephemerate or Ghostly Flicker here. They're trying to get Snap back. I wonder if I just let that happen, but uh, I don't think I'm supposed to. Okay, land is terrible. <laughs> just a little bit flooded here. Okay, there's Scred. So now I just go Scred this. Play the island they know about and see if this can connect. Otherwise, they just get a free block on it. Oh, wow, they're letting us draw a card. That's so good for us. They must not have much left either. Another ninja. Casting it. They can do a lot of scary stuff here, but the Relic was good. Now we have double ninja in play. We have a lot of good draws. Four mana, five mana, mnemonic, oh, Mole Drifter. That's good. They obviously want to keep this in play. It makes sense. What do they have? Nothing. I'm probably just slamming with both here. Okay, Scred. Guess I'm just killing this, so then I can like freely attack with both. They could have a counter spell, but then I'm still just slamming with both. Yeah. That deck looks sweet. I kind of want to play it. Probably just go block take. Yeah. Come on, ninja. Let's go. Nice. I'll just play fjord. We could draw up a hold the multiverse where we want like a, a bunch of lands in play. Doesn't do that much to like represent like we have two cards in hand rather than one. Usually people are gonna like go for stuff regardless. Oh man. I'm actually gonna let this resolve. I know I I know it stops my ninja, so maybe this is wrong, but I don't think I can just fight over the O4 here. It's more about the card advantage that matters. I guess this stops my card advantage, but I think I need to let that happen. Pyroblast. Okay, it's not too bad. Pretty well protected from stuff they can do. Reordain. I'll let it resolve. One top, one bottom. Another preordain. Sure. Again, them gaining life is good for them, but Look, it's that relevant. This card's sweet. Just being a one mana 0 4, good against aggro, gains life. Oh, they foretold the cards? Probably behold the multiverse. Okay, let's brainstorm right now. Okay. This actually is pretty good. I don't think I want fairies here. I don't even know if I want Brainstorm. Brainstorm's not bad. I don't necessarily have a shuffle effect anyway. I could just put Fairy Seer and Brainstorm on top and just cast Behold the Multiverse bottom both. I think I actually like that. I'm just going to cast this right now. Yeah, because I might have other stuff I want to play. Probably not, but I still think I'm just going to cast... We'll see if they try to behold in response. I'll counter it. Their card, their their foretold card has to be almost like 100% behold the multiverse. This is like the only foretell card people play. Yeah, they're going for it. Wait, what? Oh, they're, oh the stack is over here. Okay, they're going for ghostly flicker. Okay, well, um, I'll just pyroblast it. I guess I could, oh, I should have, I really should have killed the Archaeomancer. I thought of it right after I cast Pyroblast. Damn, that was a, that was a mistake. 
I'm playing that tight. Bottom, bottom. I could keep Ash Barons in case I find another Brainstorm, or I could just... I haven't played a land yet, right? No. Let me double check. No, I have not. And they can't behold the multiverse right now. Right, I'm just going to cycle. Thin my deck. Pass. Spell Thunder for a one drop, counter spell for anything else. They have one card left, and they still have that other card bolt. Uh, foretold, but yeah, uh, not killing that is just such a big mistake. Okay, counterspell this. They have counter back. Oh man, see, such a big punt. Sorry for sorry for the ba bad plays this round. I I deserve to lose this match. If I had pyroblasted the archaeomancer, they would have yes got to untap a land, but now they just start going off pretty much infinite. Damn it. Feels bad, but I'm just not I'm not happy with my play here. It's pretty disappointing. Now I have to try to uh oh they went too top on this also. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede when they counter this spell slitter sprite. They went top top on this. They can almost assuredly interact here. I could have won this game. I maybe could have even won the first game as well. But I, I punted twice. So it happens. GG's. Bad play from me there. Not up to my standards, but uh, I'll turn it around. We'll see if we can do better. I did not deserve to win that. Um, everybody plays bad sometimes. I'm going to try not to get too down and just move on. I'll see you in round two. Play in round one. I'll see if I can play better. Um, let's go first. Oh man, I was gonna say keep, but maybe not. All I have is a ponder, and I just have five lands. I think a six card hand is actually gonna be better than this. It's just Mulligan. I'm gonna keep this. I can put back a scred. I can preordain to find lands. I still think this is actually better, even though I only have one land. I have a good chance to hit a land between preordain and brainstorm. But, yeah, like, Brainstorm in this hand looks so much worse than Ponder to me. But maybe we can set up an Augur, or maybe we just Blind Augur and Brainstorm later, or who knows. But Ponder does seem nice to me. We're against Merc. I think we've played this opponent before. All right, yeah, let's just top top. Maybe I was supposed to bottom the Counterspell. Oh, Mono White, our nemesis? It is. This fucking deck. <laughs> fucking Mono White. Okay. Let's see if we can win this match. Umbra resolves. Let's see your armor. The standard. Yep. <laughs> no mulligan, just naturally the double planes into the triple one drop. Okay, I'm gonna brainstorm here. <laughs> Don't brainstorm lock me. No! <laughs> no! Oh god. So I need to put back two cards. One of them has to be a spell that I hit off Augur. I can't just leave up Counterspell here. I, I think I need to play Augur and like shuffle away. Oh, I guess I'm not going to be able to, I can't shuffle away anything because this is an end of turn brainstorm. So I need to put back Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I guess it does. Why don't I just put back Counterspell, Counterspell. I'll draw one of them. And then I can Augur. And I can either take the Counterspell or something else if, if I see anything else. But yeah, missing my land drop here is bad. Probably should have bottomed the Counterspell on the Preordain. But uh, I didn't know what we were up against. 
and I thought Counterspell would be a good draw. But now we're missing a land drop here, which is really bad. And this cat is going to get out of range of our removal pretty quick, especially since we're missing land drops. So I think this game is over. They could go also like Benevolent Blessing here, Pro Red. That'd be pretty funny if they do. Another Umbra 8-8. Okay. Hand to Sentinel's Eyes, 10-10, First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, Double Umbra. One card left. Do I have any outs in my deck? I don't think so. Let's just go to the next one. Rough start to this league. Jeez. All right. I think I bring in all of this. I think Behold the Multiverse is actually not good. Spire Golem actually is good because um, it's a Carlos card that can like chump for a turn, which can actually be pretty relevant. That being said, it, it is a little bit clunky. Let's go down to two, but it is actually pretty good. I can cut a cantrip because I just don't know if I have time to be like cantripping that much. I think I want all this. This could just get them maybe, and I think I do want the cannonades. I want to leave in all the removal. I could just cut another cantrip. I can go down to one spire golem, but yeah, I think I want spire golems. Maybe I do cut a braid just because I'm bringing in three wraths and this is like a slower removal spell. I could just cut a counter spell. It's a little bit slow. I've never like cut counter spell before. I'll try it. Don't know if that's right, but the way this league is going, maybe if we switch up something, we'll, we'll do better. <laughs> All right, I have to keep. We have blue and red mana. We have cantrips. We have a ninja. I'm gonna keep. If they keep. That's so lucky. Wow. On a white, keeping seven twice in a row. Maybe they kept a bad hand. Looking for removal here and not too much else. A way to activate Ninja would be great. I think I'll keep another Preordain. It's a little bit slow, but it will help us find what we need, potentially. Okay, they played the 4 It's not good for us. Probably just playing double Preordain here. Could also consider just playing Fjord, but I don't think I like that. Man, I think I'm going to bottom bottom. I know Ponder is good, but I'm also playing another Preordain right now. So I do need to find something. Guess I need to draw this just to get this going. I need more card advantage. This obviously isn't very good, but I think that's what I have to do. I don't think I want to cycle on upkeep, even though it kind of messes up my scries. I think I'll just draw a card. Could We basically want to find curfew now, but this game's looking bad. I could also not cycle these Ash Barons, but... All right, pro blue, interesting. So yeah, it's like a curfew or bust basically at this point. What I could do, which seems kind of reasonable, I'm not going to be drawing any more cards this turn anyway. I could go cycle Ash Barons, cycle Ash Barons, then play Fairy Seer. Or I can just, again, not use these Ash Barons at all. I think I'm going to go for that this weird line. This takes two lands out of my deck. It sets up the Scry, so if I don't find Curfew, I'm bottoming two cards that are not Curfew, and then I'm getting closer to drawing it. It's, it's a super weird line, but I think I'm going for it. It messes up my previous Scries, which is not good, but... I want to like cycle these anyway, just to get them out of the way while I have extra mana. So I think this is the play. I 
just a little flooded here. Bolt and Fairy Seer. No, I don't think these do anything. I guess I could keep Bolt in case they play another creature that I need to kill, but I think I'm just going to bottom bottom. And uh, again, hope they don't play another creature. Hopefully they just load this up. And then um, don't play another guy and I find curfew. That's the that's the idea. Like They might go another Benevolent Blessing named Red right now. Ethereal Armor. Okay. They're getting a big thing. It's protection from blue. But Curfew does not care about that. Okay, they played another creature. So now I need to kill this, and then find Curfew. Also, my ninja is just potentially going to get killed by their thing. Not much I can do about that. All right, why don't I start by ninjaing and then I'll auger? I could find something else I want to do instead of um, Augur. Ponder. I actually do think I want to Ponder. All right, there's Cannonade. Interesting. And Spell Stutter Sprite. I think Cannonade is good because unless they make this into like a 3-3, three, three, I can kill this and any other like 1-1s one, or 2-2s two, they play. This is potentially going to die to this anyway. But maybe I'm just supposed to shuffle here. Alright, I'll just shuffle. Okay, there's a Scrad. Okay, that's actually good. Now I can scred this right now. Then that makes my ninja more likely to survive by a lot. I like it. I was kind of hoping to find a removal spell off the ponder, and we did after the shuffle, so that worked out. They have three cards left. I have Fairy Seer into Augur, so hopefully no creature from the opponent, and then I need the curfew. Okay, that's a creature. Now I have to again find removal spell into curfew. It's gonna be tough. This is a two turn clock, has pro blue. I could find Spire Golem to buy one, one turn. Okay, there's a removal spell. So we can potentially do this. So I just lead, I guess I just lead attack with Ninja. That gets me the deepest, I think. Let's do it. Maybe they go to block and target this. They probably won't. Okay, nice. We have a lot of looks here. There it is. There it is. Nice. So now, how do I play it? I need to play Bolt. I need to play Curfew. That leaves me with three potential mana left over. But I don't I can't find anything with the fairies here this turn. I have to hope they don't have a protection spell for this, and then I'll be able to get them with the curfew. Is there any way they have mana tied? Maybe. I guess I could play around that as well. I think I'm just going for Lightning Bolt right now. Hope they don't have the one mana protection spell. That's If they have that, they have it. And then I'm going to lose. But if they don't, then I'm probably going to win. So it's... Just think if I want to play Fjord here. I think I just go for Lightning Bolt on this right now. And then go for Curfew. I guess I could go for Lightning Bolt on this if that resolves. Then I play Augur. Then I play Curfew playing around. Uh, mana type. Nice. Okay, this should this should do it now. So now I get to go island to play around mana type, play auger, then play curfew. 
They probably just don't have anything else, but this is good. The reason I played Augur first is because when I curfew, I want to get the Augur back. Also, do I even need to curfew right now? I could curfew when they attack. Because then, then they just replay this anyway. I'm just going to do it now and then play fairies here. So now I think we're ahead. That's why, yeah, having two curfew would be nice, but even having the one, you have so many looks to find it in this deck. So if you're not dying, like, immediately, you have a pretty decent outs to find it. All right, bottom, top. There's no reason to draw a land to guaranteed hit the scred on the auger. That makes no sense. You don't want to land here. It's just a dead draw. So I might as well just naturally draw the uh, scred and then hope to hit on auger. All right, they have a 2-6 with one card left. And it was just another trailblazer. Okay, so I can just kill this one with scred because I'll have six lands. So I'll just lead on auger. Hope to find another scred. I guess I can't play both yet. Counterspell would be good as well. But they are down to zero cards. So finding... We may have found the curfew just in time. I mean, this game's not over, but it's looking good. All right, now I can take Lightning Bolt. It's actually really good here. might not look that good, but... Um, next turn, I can attack with Augur, and they might not be able to block with this. So... I think I'm just going for Scred right now, because if they just draw a card and don't play anything, it's kind of risky. I'd rather just get this get this dead, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I almost just almost just completely fucked up. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Alright, let's scred that. I thought I could lightning bolt this turn, but I can't. I shouldn't have played a land, because then they might not have blocked. They might have been scared of like mountain kill this. But now they just get a free block. Yeah. So, I don't know why. I'm just not playing that well right now. Benevolent Blessing would be, like, really annoying. Oh, they have Sentinel's Eyes in the graveyard? Yeah. I forgot that this comes back, too. I'm just playing terribly. It happens. And another Sentinel's Eyes from hand. All right, and just like that, we're in a rough spot, and this has Vigilance, too. I could take, go down to two. I think I'm fine with that. God damn, this fucking deck. No! Ah. All right, let's attack for one. I feel like I should have been able to win this game too if I played differently. No way to get the curfew back. So I need to find another scred, which I have two left. I chump this. Let's see, it's a four eight. Yeah, I just have to chump. Okay. Ninja would be a decent draw. Augur into Scred. Augur into Scred. Can we do it? Four, five, six, seven. We we can. Okay. Land. Scred this right now. Nice. <laughs> draw a card. They have double Sentinel's Eyes in the Graveyard, so that's something. Oh, the Spell Stutter, that, that should lock it up. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't let me lose to this deck. Please. Please, deck. I have another Fairy, so I can counter a 2-drop. 
I think it's worth it to ki to counter the creature rather than try to bolt it. Ninja off the top, please. Okay, that's reasonable. At two. Do I have them dead next turn? Yes. Because I have a bolt and a spire going. Nice, and that should lock it up. Whew. This game was absolutely scary. Found that scred off the augury. Found the curfew just in time. And now in game three, they're just going to mull it into four or five, and then we'll win. That's the plan. <laughs> I do not want to lose to that deck again. I've lost to it in like some of my last two recordings. Whew. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think Cannonade is good because again, sometimes they have draws where they just draw like multiple creatures. It's also really good in conjunction with Curfew because we want to like, if they have like three one ones and like an eight twelve, then we just wrath their one ones and then Curfew. So. Counter spell. It's weird to not have that. Yeah, maybe the braid comes out. Counter spell comes in. This is probably how it should be, honestly. I know this kills stuff, but it doesn't kill that much. Um, and I'd rather just rely, rely on these wraths to sweep up the small stuff and then use like scred uh, and bolt early. So let's go with this. I'll see you in game three, hopefully for the win, not losing to the mono late again. To game three, it looks like we're going to be taking a mulligan. Opponent is as well. I called the multi four or five. I guess I'll call the multi five here from the opponent, but I'm going to mulligan myself and I'll keep this. We have an early bolt, we have an auger, we have preordain. I think I even just put back Ash Barons. All right, they kept six, super lucky for them. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep six as well, put back Ash Barons. I think my other lands are just better than Ash Barons here. Not the 04. Okay. Looks like I'm leading Preordain. Land is not really where I wanted to be. Oh no. Please deck. Not like this. Okay. They play a 1-1. One, one. I might just bolt that. That just was like a rough start because I kept three lands. I drew land for turn. Then I bottom two lands on Preordain. And then I drew another land. So the top four cards of our deck were lands there. So I can pre. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Preordain right now. Then just probably plan to play Mountain Bolt this. Leave them with this. If they want to start suiting this up, they can. Maybe I can find Curfew or like Screds for this in the future. But... I think bolting this right now is where I want to be. So I think I might as well lead on Preordain. And that deck usually does not play Mana Type, by the way. But I have not been happy with my play in this league so far. So, you know, I, I won't feel bad if you just exit this video. Go check out some of my other videos. I, I play a lot better generally. <laughs> but we're having fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want both of these for sure. So let's just go top, top, lightning bolt, this, no mutagenic, please. Thank you. I don't know if that deck always plays mutagenic. I think they do sometimes. Resolves, ethereal armor, please. Keep suiting it up. More auras. Okay, I don't even need to curfew yet. I'm going to wait as long as possible on that. Um, I'm just going to play Island. Play Augur. Leave up curfew rather than Bolt. Brutal. We, I think we have under like a 75% chance to hit on Augur, so you have to expect that you're going to miss. If they just attack, 
what I could do is I could block. They'll probably have to play an instant to pump it, and then I could either curfew or choose not to curfew. I could also just take two. I don't want a curfew yet. I might get a free block. I'll just take two. Alright, so they're going for Blessing for damage anyway. I'll just take five here. I mean, that's fine. Again, I want to wait on this as long as possible. Let's just cycle... All right, another auger is good. Let's go land auger. I can take three if they just attack. Oh, brutal. Man, I'm just like in general, in the last couple of popper leagues I've played, I've just been missing on auger a lot. And maybe you just need higher spell counts to consistently play that card. I wonder if there's any build of like this deck without auger. It's just so good with ninja. Like sometimes, even though you miss a lot, you end up ninjing it back, and you just cast it so many times that it's just worth it to have it. I really just hope they just like jam an aura onto this for two mana. And then I still need to draw something because we're down two cards. Like we should have two more spells in hand, or at least one, because we missed twice. It's just brutal. Alright, I'll just take. I don't care about taking three again. Being at a low life total is not that bad. They're just not playing anything, sure. I'm just gonna keep waiting. I can take three at least one more time. And then I'll I'm I'll probably end of turn curfew here. Okay, they draw another land, or at least they play another one. I don't really care too much about that. Alright, Hyena Umbra resolves. Now I'm going to go for the block curfew plan. I could take 5 and then end of turn curfew. No, because I can counter this when they replay it, and they probably don't have another creature anyway. And then I don't need to take a bunch of damage. So let's go block, and then curfew. I could wait longer, but... I want to replay my auger anyway. So they bounce their trailblazer. I'm going to counter it. And then hopefully we find like another counter spell on this auger. They have to go to their main phase. I'm at 10. They have four cards. They probably do not have a second creature is my guess. Counter that. And if they play something that's not an 04, yeah, I just get to bolt it right now. They have two cards left. They do have a Sentinel's Eyes, which I will not forget about now. Spire Golem, okay. Something I can play. Feels bad. Feels real bad. Oh for three on augers this game. Okay, that's good. No creature from the opponent. Now I just need them to miss for like a turn or two, basically. Counterspell. Yep. Bottom top. If they draw a creature this turn, I definitely still could lose this game. If they don't, it's going to be hard for them to win, I think. Don't do it. Don't tap mana up on it. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Triple miss on Augur. Jesus. It's like my deck gave me curfew games two and three. It's like, here, have curfew, but you're never hitting on Augur. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted, but now they haven't played a creature. So if they draw a creature now, they're going to play it and I counterspell and then they die next turn. So they have to have like 
somehow double creature or creature plus something else. And it looks like we got him with land. They probably just drew land. <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> this one's actually pretty sweet in this matchup. It's slow, but if you can get there, it's good. Oh, man. <laughs> Defeated the Mono White Menace, thankfully. All right, let's go round three. All right, welcome to round three. We're one and one. This hand's a little sketchy, but I'm going to keep it. We actually have a decent combo of Brainstorm into Augur, so we can guaranteed hit on Augur, and we can shuffle one card away with this Brainstorm. So, um, looking decent. We need to find a red source, but we have nine red sources in the deck. Four Fjords, four Ashburns, one Mountain. So, Stompy? Might be some type of Ponza deck. All right, there's Ash Barons. So now I think I'm just going land and then cycle Ash Barons for Mountain so I can start killing stuff. If they go like Thermokarst or Minvili Asimov this turn, uh, they'd have to have like Forest, Wild Growth, Acid Moss to be able to Acid Moss. But if they Thermokarst this turn, it is going to be bad for me. This could be a Bonders ornament, which I'd be fine with. Nice. So now I just get Mountain, and I think I just abrade the Bonders Ornament on my turn. I don't want them drawing a card off that. Drawing Ash Barons was obviously great. I could have let them have that for one turn, and maybe they like try to play something else, like Counterspell it, and then I abrade this, but I like just taking them down on mana, killing that. If they went land pass, that would have been annoying for me. We'll see if this is Jund or Green Red or something else. Another Bonders Ornament? If it is, that's bad. Oh, Thermokarst. That is bad, but that's beatable. They have two cards left. I think I'm going Island. Lightning Bolt this, pass, and then I'll Brainstorm, and I can even upkeep Ash Barons if I want. Arbor Elf Resolves. Okay, they're only on three mana. I will end up turn Brainstorm here. Okay. I think I want all these lands, actually, because they're a land destruction deck. I don't really want to go too light on the lands. Do I want to pass with spells that are up, or do I want to just jam Augur? I think I need to pass with spells that are up because I need to have, um, because I need to have a counter spell up. Actually, maybe this. Maybe I put back Ash Barons, Ash Barons. I'll draw one, then the top card of my library will be Ash Barons. Then I can choose to cycle, to shuffle it away if I want. And maybe having four lands is enough here. So I like this line. I'm going to play Island, pass. Not going to play Augur this turn because now, again, now we have Counterspell up or Spells that are for like another cheap card. This looks good. If they just attack for one, I can just end up turn Spell Flutter and then get Ninja going. So, yeah, I really like this, this line here. So, I will shuffle that land away actually. Let's just get an island. And we do only have one mountain, so that's kind of sketchy against land destruction, but. We should be able to have counter spells up pretty easily here. Now I'm getting into the group, feeling more like this usual deck. Yes, I want to draw, and I'll pass with counter or spell sitter here. Utopia Sprawl that. I think I'll just counter it. A good use of my spell fitter sprite cut them off a lot of mana their hand might just be like six drop seven drop or double seven drop I, i'd rather just save the counter spell and use this while i could, can oh they're attacking i'm gonna block they're they're short on mana and they likely have expensive cards in their hand and i don't really need that spell fitter sprite i can counter more like wild gross with this one i don't like that attack from the opponent 
I mean, I like it and that I think it's good for me, but I don't think it was a good play from the opponent to attack there. Okay, land is not bad. I'll just lead ponder and then I'll probably go, yeah, let's see. I'll draw the Spire Golem because that actually seems pretty good. And then I'll go land, auger, draw the Scred rather than the Brainstorm. And then attack, draw, and then leave up Counterspell. Nice, another ninja. It's really good. No reason to tap out for Spire Golem there when I can just counter something. Thermal cars to my mountain. I could like honestly just let that resolve. Because I can I can beat that, right? I'm actually just gonna let that resolve. I know I don't have access to Scred now, but I'd rather just save counterspell for something that actually like affects the board more. Because now I get to go like attack with these two, ninja back, and auger. Now I'm drawing so many extra cards. I can find a Fjord here. I can ponder and get greedy, but I'd rather just leave up Counterspell. Yeah, I don't need to play anything, I don't think. I don't need all these ninjas. I already have two on the battlefield. I think it's pretty safe to just spell starter this. That gets my third ninja going. And I don't think they're going to play any other spells. Yep. It's looking good. And a ninja again. Triple ninja. I have not done that for all. I think I've maybe done that once. Yeah. I like not countering the um, the thermocarst there. Just saving the counter spell for something more impactful. So. I could literally just not sideboard. I think this matchup's actually pretty good for us. Definitely don't want curfew. Hydroblasts are pretty reasonable. Because we know they're at least green-red. They're probably going to bring in some number of pyroblasts. But they might not have that many red spells. They could still be the Jund version. I know Cannonade like, seems like it can be good. It can wipe up Arbor Elves. But sometimes they even just side out Arbor Elf in this matchup. Relic is actually surprisingly reasonable because sometimes they have a Pulsa Marasa. No, no, if maybe three Hydroblasts is too many. Definitely want to braid in this matchup 100%. Behold the Multiverse, while it's slow, I mean, this matchup's actually kind of grindy. I feel like three Hydro Blasts is just, if I like get stuck with two of them in my hand and they're just playing good, no, I, ha I have to bring these in because they also have Boarding Party. So this is actually a good card, yeah. All right. Let's just go like down this. I could cut two Spire Golems just because again, they're a land destruction deck. I'm often have to, gonna have to play games on low resource, uh, like low amounts of resource because they're gonna be killing my lands. So Spire Golem doesn't really work with that plan. I like this sideboard plan. Triple Hydro Blast, board out, golem, golem, behold. Yeah. If I see like multiple Pulse of Marasas, I could bring in the relics, but I won't right now. Because it's possible the relics just don't do anything. All right, I'll keep a double preordain hand, especially on the draw. Draw Mountain. Okay, that's not bad. I think I like just cycle Ashburns right now. And next turn, preordain plus bolt. Mm. No, I'm gonna I'd rather preordain now looking for lands. I need to actually bottom these. And the reason I'm doing this, oh man. Now if they if they land destruction me here, it's gonna be bad. Maybe I was supposed to just leave up Ash Barons there to get another island. Oh no. Might get might get punished here. Okay, 
I have a doctor top. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because if I lead island and then they thermal karst, I can just cycle in response, get another island. So hopefully no second thermal karst here. It looks like they might have it. Ah, another land. <laughs> Damn it. Punished for not just leaving up Ash Barons on turn one. I can still get out of this, though. I can pre next turn. Minvuli Acid Moss. Okay, so they're, they are Jund. Cycle, get Island. They only have two cards left. They've played triple land destruction spells on turn two, three, and four. I might just need to leave up Hydroblast to stop a boarding party next turn. It's really bad. No, I just need to preordain looking for lands. Pretty much perfect draw from the opponent. Maybe I just wasn't supposed to keep a one lander against that deck specifically. Yeah, this looks like boarding party here. Definitely is boarding party. No land destruction spell. Okay. Probably go brainstorm just to try to hit land drops if I don't find one. Then I can hydroblast this if I draw an island. I think that's game. Yeah, probably just wasn't supposed to keep a one lander on the draw against the land destruction deck. Just like doesn't make sense. I'd rather keep like a six card hand with five lands because then if they go like thermal cards, thermal cards, I'm just like playing lands. But now I'm struggling to hit land drops and that's how I lose. I just wasn't really thinking about the matchup. I was just thinking that this is a good hand. And yeah, I did find four lands, but they played, or I guess, yeah, I found four lands and they played triple land destruction spell. I'll just go to the next game here. I'm only on one land. They have a 6-5 and a 6-3. I don't think I can come back. Let's just run it back. I, I guess they have the Edict, but I'm not sh even sure if they have Pulse of Marasa. I'm not too scared of the Edict, and I think I want the Hydroblasts, even if it's just for Boarding Party. Maybe I just go down to two, considering they're Jund, and then run another Spire Golem. It's kind of awkward, but I'm going to try it. Spire Golem's still pretty good. All right, this looks good. Let's keep. And I'll just lead on Fjord. Get my blue source down. I really want them to lead Arborel. That way I won't get land destruction on turn two because I can kill their elf. Like if they lead elf and I go like turn two, fairy seer, bolt your elf, that's a pretty good sequence for me. And just having four lands in hand is nice. Like if they do just keep like a turn two thermal cursed hand, it's like that's not even that bad for me. Arbor elf, nice. Just being able to set them back is, is so good for me here. All right, so I play Island, bolt this and play Fairy Seer. Could have played Mountain, but I think I like playing Island. All right, I am actually going to bottom a land with three lands in hand. Definitely top a Ninja. Lightning bolt this rather than scred it. And now... They have to go like untapped red source. I guess they could Ash Barons and then bolt this, but it's unlikely they're gonna be able to kill this. I'm most likely to get Ninja going. Yeah, they could have a, oh, they're on one land. It's looking good for me now. So now I think the play is play Mountain, attack Ninja, and then replay Fairy Seer. That's why I played Mountain rather than Ash Barons, because I'm going to want to replay this. Another land is actually reasonable. These are both good. I guess I'll just draw the Brainstorm first, because then I can Brainstorm. This is like the perfect 
place to brainstorm shuffle because I can shuffle away extra lands that I don't actually need at this point. All right, they do have cast down. That's something. But now I go brainstorm. That's a lot of lands. Put back Ash Barons. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I want Ash Barons to shuffle on this ponder too. Could put back Fjord Island. And then I shuffle Ash Barons for Island and then play Ponder, and I can always shuffle again. Now it's tripping out a little bit here. It's not misclick. I like keeping both Ash Barons because I may want to shuffle up, like draw one card from Ponder and shuffle the other two away with the second Ash Barons. So this is like playing Legacy here. Put these two back. Ash Barons. Get Island. Play Island. Play Ponder. I think Spell Stutter Sprite's got to be good enough when they're on such a low land count here. I think I'm just going to brainstorm right now. I guess I can just pass with Scred Up potentially and then brainstorm end of turn if I want to. I might want to just wait on brainstorm actually. Chainer's Edict. I think I'll just be mana efficient and just brainstorm here. So these cards are all pretty good except for Island. <laughs> Deciding what to do here. I could just put back Island to Ash Barons, draw Ash Barons, then Shuffle, and then Preordain. I like it. Feeling pretty good about this game. So I'm not, I obviously didn't want to shuffle like on upkeep. I would like to draw one more land here. And then let's just start with Preordain. I can top top and then guaranteed hit on this auger. Sure. I could also just leave up Spell Stutter Sprite in case they play like another one mana spell. I guess that's good. Instead of playing Preordain there, I could have played Spire Golem, leaving up Spell Stutter Sprite. That may have been better. Sucks that I don't get to guaranteed hit on Augur now, but I think it's still worth it, honestly. Ooh, a braid is actually pretty reasonable too. I think I'll just take preordain and keep the cards going. Oh yeah. Top. Top. It's probably supposed to put those in the other order, actually. This is reasonable. Utopia Sprawl. Easy spell better here. And then I probably even just ninja back spell stutter rather than um, auger since they're just stuck on one land. It's interesting that they're stuck on one land and this game's not even over, but it's feeling pretty good at this point, especially with this counter spell. Yeah, because now if they try to play an arbor elf or another wild growth, I just get to counter it with spell stutter. Or just even let it resolve. I'll just pass. I don't think I can lose from this point. So looking good. I don't think I need to flash in spells that are either. Nice. Back with these. Draw. Pass. Cast down on my ninja. Just counter it. Yep, got him. They just got stuck on one land. That wasn't much of a game. Unfortunate, but look at how much like we had to go through just to win, even though they're on one land. 
another fun one, two and one. I felt like I'm playing a little bit better now. Maybe I was just needed to get warmed up at the beginning in this first round. I played terribly. Sweet caught me, but uh, beat Mono White and then beat Jun Ponza there. So pretty sweet, two and one. I'll see you in round four. Two and one now. Welcome to round four against Riku One. Ryuk One. Hmm. Uh, it's a lot of lands. I do have a preordain, but if I draw any more lands, this hand's kind of rough. I don't have any way to get ninja going or an auger or anything. I think this is actually a, a mulligan. They're asking what my record is. They might be asking if I want to split, which unfortunately I don't think I'm going to want to do. But I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. Um, Yeah, I don't think I can split here. I just don't want to like just take a loss in this game just to give the opponent the 5-0. We'll just play it out and see if we can take him down. That being said, I think this hand's actually a mulligan. I think I can do better. All right, um, this hand's obviously a keep. Opponent kept seven. Yeah, I'm on the play here. Let's see, opponent's really friendly. They're streaming, I'm recording for my channel. Deciding what to put back. Don't really wanna put back land, but maybe I do just Put back Ashburn. I could put back Spire Golem. That seems bad too. Could put back a Breed or Counterspell. Why don't we just keep... I could even put back Fairy Seer. Seems weird. I actually like that. That's the weakest card. Because I kind of want to lead Tapland anyway and leave up Counterspell. So I don't have a great time to play Fairy Seer anyway. So I think I like this. Okay, 4-0 and they're on Infect. Okay, I think I'm just going to kill this right now. Um, seems good to me. I could just leave up Counterspell, kill this, like, end of turn. But if they, like, go for Rancor with Protection back up, it's just going to be bad for me. Really, they're the 4-0 with Infect. Interesting. Glad I didn't put back a Braid. <laughs> Alright, Seal of Strength, and do they have another land? Oh, Colony Garden. Interesting. I want to go Brainstorm Shuffle, but... Um, I think I just need to go cycle Ash Barons, leave up Counterspell, because what I really want to do is if they play a two-drop Infect creature, I want to be able to counter it. So I think I just need to go like this, hit my land drop, and then leave up counter. This should be a good matchup for us, just with all the burn we have. I don't think I care about Plant Token at all. If they want to Rancor that up, that's fine. I'll just let that resolve, yeah. Doubt I'm going to lose to damage. Because eventually I can just play a Spire Golem. I think I'll wait to brainstorm. This is a good opportunity to show, like, it's better to brainstorm later. So I'd rather untap and then brainstorm on my turn. More likely to hit a land this way. Because I go one card deeper. All right, this is great. Um, I would like to leave up Counterspell for another Infect creature again. So I'm not going to play Fairy Seer this turn. Um, but I can play it next turn. Not planning to play Spire Golem for a while either. What card do I put second from the top? I'm going to play Fjord this turn and pass. I guess I am not going to Ninja for a while. Because I'm not going to play a creature this turn. 
don't think it matters too much because I'm definitely going to just, I definitely need to keep Scred in my hand. I guess I could have just put back fairies here as well, but it doesn't matter too much. I guess the it, it could matter because I should have decided which card I want to scry away, but I don't really want to scry anything away. I can just Scred this end of turn, but I don't think I really care about that too much. Like, I can even just play a Spire Golem here, or I can just play a Fairy Seer. I'm going to top the uh, Ninja. Yeah, I'll just play Fairies here. This way I can guarantee get Ninja going next turn. Hmm. Actually, this is actually good. Let's just top top. Then next turn I can go Ninja and maybe play Spire Golem also. But... This seems like it's like going really well for me. I know they have a lot of cards in hand, but with only two... Okay, they draw another land. That's good for them. I'll just take here. Not in any rush. But th yeah, I think this matchup is, is good for us. I wonder if I'm supposed to scred this right now and then just not fight over it. Again, I don't, I don't think I care about that. I'm just going to leave the, the plant alone. Now I'm in a ninja. And then I can shoot, I can play Spire Golem if I want. I think it's pretty safe to do so, actually. And then leave up Counterspell. I guess this is getting like close to killing me if they play like a million pump spells on it. They're going for a Rancor right now. Um, all right, I'll let it resolve. And Briar Shield on it, too. So they can sack this to give it plus one, plus one. What if I go for Scred on the plant right now? Then they can just Vines or uh, play the Protection spell on it. I don't think they can kill me. So I can just block with Spire Golem here. Force them to even go more in on this plant. I don't need this fire golem to win. And I just need to make sure I don't die. Like right now. And then... I mean, I guess I can take five. What's the worst they're going to do? Pump plus three, plus six, plus six. And I take a bunch of damage. And then untap and kill this. I guess they have a briar shield on here too. So if I don't... If I don't block, then they have potentially plus six, plus six. I'm, I'm just going to block. I think it's safest. They're probably just going to sack Briar Shield or Seal of Strength here. Yeah, so they choose to do that. I can go for Scred, but I think I can just untap and go for Scred with Counterspell up. I'm fine to take a little damage, and yeah, I'm fine if my Spire Golem dies here. So I'm at 11, but now I can just kill this if I want. Which I think I do want to. I'll just attack. I think I want to kill this now, actually. Bolt. Bolt is good, but Bolt doesn't actually kill this yet because of Seal of Strength. So I think I'm just going for Scred. I don't need to Brainstorm yet. Even though I could hit a land, I could also miss. So let's just Scred this. If they go to Protect it, I'll probably just counter it. And then I can counter another creature that they play. And then I'm in a great spot. Like, they can play a Protection spell, but Seal of Strength doesn't actually save it from Scred here. Because this is 5 damage. And I can counter a protection spell and counter another creature they play. Oh, they're going for giant growth plus seal of strength to save it. So I guess I actually let this resolve. Then they have to crack seal of strength, and then I just lightning bolt it. And then I still have counter spell up. So let that happen. And then they have to seal of strength. And then I just lightning bolt it. That puts the Rancors back in their hand, but I think it's fine. So their thing is 7 toughness. I deal 5 to it. 
and then I bolt it. They get double Rancor back in their hand, sure. And now I can either play Fairy Seer or Brainstorm. I think Fairy Seer is better. Bolt and Fairy Seer. Let's click right. Bottom of Fairy Seer, top of Lightning Bolt. Pass. And then I just counterspell any creature they play. Another Colony Garden could actually be annoying, but. Llanowar Augur. They can suit up a Llanowar Augur, but I'm drawing Lightning Bolt. I think I'm just going to counter this because it's a creature. And then my ninja is more likely to get through. And if they have to tap two mana to play an infect creature, I can just bolt it. All right, well, I still am going to be able to Lightning Bolt plus Counterspell here. So it's unlikely they're going to be able to get through this. And another and a Briar Shield. Well, that actually counters um that actually counters Lightning Bolt here. Hmm, interesting. I could lead on just Brainstorm. I could lead just by attacking with Ninja. And then if they block and sack Briar Shield, I can bolt in response. Why don't I just lead on that? I could attack with both, but I think I'm just going to attack with Ninja. Yeah, they just take. All right, let's brainstorm. Hmm, there's another ninja, but there's also another counter spell. The Briar Shield was actually super annoying. I do want another ninja, but I think I put back Island, Ninja, and then I Ponder. And then I can potentially just shuffle on the Ponder. Spells that are Sprite. Hmm. I mean, these cards are pretty good. I'm at zero infect right now also. I'm at 11 life, but zero infect, which is interesting of, to note. I think I just want to draw a land, and then kind of also want to draw this spell stutter. Because I can just spell stutter or rancor, but then I can't counter another rancor. I kind of want to counter, just counter both Rancors. Alright, let's just go like this. And then just plan to counterspell both Rancors. They're actually like staying in this game pretty well. Just counter that. And then counter the second one too. I can't bolt this in response because of this. It's actually pretty annoying. Scred would have been a lot better there. Another Rancor, geez. Okay. And another land. Okay, they're down to one card though. So the worst they can do is plus three, plus three. They're playing Giant Growth, which is interesting. So I'm just taking a hit here. I don't think I can die from one card. Oh, shit, I can. Oh, because they could have gone plus three, plus three. No, they, they probably couldn't have killed me unless it was like Groundswell specifically. Okay. Now I go attack with these. Ninja in my fairies, for my fairies here. Draw, draw. Spell Stutter Sprite is great here. And there's the Scrat. Okay. That, I feel like that should do it. So I can just Scrat right now. While they, I guess I can do it on their upkeep, but I think it's better to do it right now, honestly. Just Scrat this. Deal six to it. I can Spell Stutter to counter a one drop if they play something. And then they'll be out of gas.
Again, I think this is a good matchup for us. Giant growth, their thing. Um, so I have a couple options here. Let's see, they can, if they giant growth, they make it five toughness, then they sack Briar Shield, and then I could Lightning Bolt. I can also just spell Stutter Sprite, counter this. I guess I like just spell Stutter Sprite and countering this. And then just leave up Lightning Bolt. Counter the Giant Growth. And Scred happens. They get one Rancor back. And I don't think I even need to play Fairies here. I'll just leave up Lightning Bolt. Just in case they play Creature and then try to play Rancor on it. it just seems safer. Wow, they actually like fought through pretty well there, surprisingly. That was a good that was a good game. Oh yeah, baby. Let's just bring it in. I think curfew is actually pretty good too. Alright, behold the multiverse coming out as usual. <laughs> I still think it's fine in this deck. I have like the one abrade, one multiverse better than double multiverse. Excuse me. Let's go Spire Golem out. Could just take out all of the Spire Golems. It is a good blocker. Fairy Seer is good at setting up my Ninja. Now I really don't want to take out any removal spells in this matchup, that's for sure. I could board out a Ninja. Just because it dies to like cannonade, I could board out like Fairy Seer Ninja and keep Spire Golems just because it's a big blocker and they have to use like pump spells to get through it. But it is a little bit slow. I mean, I could even do this just because Ninja is a little bit clunky. While it is really strong, it is one of the more clunky cards in my deck. I could just board out Triple Spire Golem also and just rely on my removal. It's pretty close. Hmm. Just gonna are we just gonna rob Ryuk of the uh I don't know if I'm saying their name right, but are we just gonna rob them of the uh the 50 dream here? Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try it like this. Three ninjas, one spire golem, and all the rafts and the curfew. Let's go. Curfew is good against their like pump spells. Hmm. No red source, but a lot of red removal and double preordains. I'll keep this hand. It's not perfect, but with double preordain on the draw, I feel like I should keep. Pretty scary from the opponent. Mountain? Mountain or Ash Barons is kind of what I want to see. I think I have to bottom anything that's not a land. Yep. Okay. Missed on the first one. Now I have another draw for turn, two more scribes from another preordain. And then if I bottom at all, the, like I, I draw a card for turn, bottom both, I have four more looks at a potential land. So as long as I don't get turn two or turn three here, which certainly could happen. Hopefully they just keep playing out creatures and then I just candidate everything on turn three. I'll definitely keep a Fjord here. Getting hit for one, in fact. Could easily die next turn. Okay. Okay, I have to keep that. Bottom, top. I'll just brainstorm end of turn. There's no reason to brainstorm now. But I could easily get brainstorm locked here. There's nothing I can do. I have to cast brainstorm. Okay. Now that they untap, it's like gets a lot rougher for me here. Yep. 
looks like we're probably just dead. They have four, so if they have a land groundswell, I, I lose. But if I brainstorm into exactly mountain, I can just cannonade away their board, most likely. Okay. That You can only stack that thing on upkeep. So it looks like I'm getting hit for four, up to five, in fact. And I'm dead next turn unless I find, like, literally the one mountain. I guess I could find Ash Barons and survive that way. But it's not looking great, for sure. <laughs> they had a good draw on the play here, so we have not found a red source yet. Maybe we'll find it here. Dog going off like usual. Mountain. Mountain in top three, one out of 49. Three looks. Brainstorm. There's Ash Barons and there's Curfew. Interesting. So, I mean, this could certainly do it because what I can, they're going to sack this on upkeep. And I can bolt one thing and then curfew another thing. So I think I have to put back. Hmm. I think I need to put back Sandstorm. I just don't think I need that. I don't think the game's going to go that long. I could put back Spire Golem as well. And then do I want to cycle Ash Barons on my upkeep, draw a random card? I think so. So let's cycle Ash Barons now, get Mountain. And then let's bolt the Blight Mamba right now. Just leave up Island, and then I think they're going to go for Augur. And then I can Curfew and kind of get them. That's the line I'm going for. They can't regenerate right now. So they're going to get their Rancor back. Then on upkeep, they're going to go Augur. They're going to play Rancor, and then I just get to Curfew. This can't really be countered by like a Vines of Vastwood effect. So I'm actually feeling pretty good here. And then I just have a million more removal spells after this. But yeah, feeling feeling decent here. I wonder if they shouldn't have played Blight Mamba. What if they just went turn two, Augur plus Rancor, attack me for three, and then they would untap, and they only have one infect creature? Yeah, maybe playing Mamba was better, but I'm not really sure. So we upkeep, get Mountain, we draw a random card, we play Mountain, and then we Lightning Bolt, Blight Mamba right now. Doesn't get saved by Mutagenic. And then I just let them go all in on Glistener Elf, and then play Curfew. If they don't sack this, I might lose, but there's nothing I can do. I think they're going to sack it. Because that seems like an easy way for them to uh, just go for the win. All they need to do is sack Augur plus play Rancor, and they even can leave up one mana for like a Vines or that new Call Time card, Hexproof and plus one plus one counter. So I'm feeling, feeling like we got this game. I don't want to go for Curfew right now just to bounce Augur. I think that's a terrible play. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, going all in. Yeah, they're going to sack. Come on. Sack it. <laughs> they had to stop on upkeep. They, they have to sack here. They're thinking about it. If they don't, that's a pretty sick play from the opponent. I guess they could have lethal anyway. They're thinking what they need to play around. Curfew is kind of a hard one to think about. They're like in the tank here. All right, they're going for it. So I just let that happen. And then I let them try to cast Rancor. And then I respond with Curfew. Because then the Rancor will die permanently. And they can't Vines to protect from this. So curfew coming in <laughs> should not have sacked, but they didn't. It's so hard to know about curfew. Then they'll just replay um, Glistener Elf here, and then I can bolt it plus leave up 
counter spell either in spell stutter sprite or counter. So I think they're dead. They have three cards left. I'm just going to kill this on my turn. There's the sandstorm again. So let's go lightning bolt right here. And then if they go to save it, I'll just spell sit or counter it. Then I still have a lot more removal left and interaction. And if they don't have a protection spell, then I just have counter spell and spell stutter up. Again, Modern Green Infect is a cool deck, but I think this is a good matchup for us. We got kind of lucky in this game, but just the fact that we have eight Lightning Bolts, basically in Scred and Bolt, um, seems like it makes this matchup pretty decent for us. I'm just going to counter this. And there's a Llanowar Augur. That's fine. I have... Most of my deck is good draws because lands are good and spells are good. Like, if I draw a land and then they go like two drop infect creature, I could just think about letting it resolve and then just going for sandstorm. That's going to be hard for them to fight over. It doesn't even target and it deals five damage. And I have threshold now, so. They're down to two cards in hand. I could always just spell stutter like a glistener elf. I've actually taken a lot of time. I thought opponent was playing slow, but it looks like it's me. Just going for the dream crush here. With the 5-0 with the infect deck. I'm not really interested in like, what a lot of people do is they say, do you want to split? And then they give give you like, four chests or something for splitting, but I'd rather just play it out and get my testing in and um, try to see if I can get up to 4-1. I could also just scred this right now. I don't know if I need to. I think I'll just pass. I'm not scared of like dying to damage, like if they try to Rancor this up or anything. I can just scred it in response. So I'll just wait. A two drop infect creature could potentially be bad for me, but I still have like, I can either end a turn cannonade or I can even scred plus spell throw sprite back up. So I have a lot. And then if I draw a land, I can always sandstorm. So I just have a lot of options here. I mean, opponent had a great draw this game, right? They went Glycerin Elf into Blight Mamba, into Rancor plus Augur. Yeah, they had, they had a lot. But now they're down to two cards. They don't have an Infect creature on the board right now. I could consider just end of turn spell settering if they do nothing. Now they're taking their time. Can't blame them, they're ahead on time. That curfew though. I mean, this curfew has performed so well in this league, we've drawn it a lot. I mean, maybe it's time to go up to two curfews. It's really good against Mono White, it's really good against Boggles. It can just save you versus like decks like this, where they're trying to go all in. Yeah, curfew just seems great. Just because it doesn't target anything and the fact that like it bounces a creature to your own hand is either it's not really a downside for you or it can even be an upside like if you're bouncing your own auger or spell sitter sprite the the downside of this card is if they have multiple creatures like if they have that land or auger still on the board then this can be kind of a dead card but this in conjunction with all your other removal spells it's you can often set it up where you can bounce the creature you want to bounce without targeting it. You just have to kill everything else they have, but it's actually not, not bad. Actually, back when I played like Kitchen Table Magic, um, when I was like a, a young kid, I 
one of my best brews. I like played around like Urza block and I just had like a uh, cloud skates, two mana, two, two flying. Um, and it's fading too. And I had like cloud of fairies and stuff like that. And that, that was pretty much my only way to win. And then I just had all like all the counter spells, like four essence scatter, four counter spells, blah, blah, blah. And then you just basically cloud skate. And then if they resolve something, you curfew, bounce your cloud skate before it's going to die, replay cloud skate, and then just keep having counter spells up. Uh, so pretty pretty funny throwback there, but I like the art on curfew, like the card. Opponents taking their time here. I don't know if they're thinking about what to play or if they're talking to their chat or doing something else, but we'll just wait. We didn't do anything on our turn. We have five cards in hand to three. These are all pretty good spells. If they play, let's say, another Icar Claw Mirror or a Blight Mamba, what's my line? I let it resolve, and then I think I just go end of turn, cast Cannonade. Then they could try to save it with like a giant growth. If they do, sure. Then I untap and scred it on my turn, and then have spells that are spread up still. That's the line, I think. All right, I'm not sure what they're doing. I'll just pause and come back. Hopefully I won't miss them making any plays, but I'll pause the recording for a second. Okay, after a long time, they're back. Um, and they're going to combat. Okay. I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe they were trying to like look up my deck list or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe they're playing in something else. I don't want to look at their stream because I don't want to like stream hack. I'm not sure what they're doing. I don't want to be rude. Just send them the question mark like, what's up? What's going on? Because they just took like five or six minutes and then they just went to combat and now they're not making any more actions. Seems strange to me. Um, I guess I'll pause again and see when they come back. Okay, they came back. It looks like they were having problems with Magic Online. But it looks like they conceded. We got the match. I think we were going to win that game. I'm not sure what they had in hand, but um even if they played like even if they had another infect creature we could deal with it our hand was really good we were drawing fairy seer which isn't that relevant but we could play fairy seer and then leave up spells that are for two so these weren't good draws i guess we we're gonna bottom top and then we had access to sandstorm as well i, th I think we had that but yeah i'm not sure what was going on with the opponent there but we cr dream crushed and now we're three and one going for the four one ourselves um, this deck is really good, I think. I'm excited to uh, go to the last round. I'll see you in round five. All right, welcome to round five. We're against Ryuk again. <laughs> and having some banter in the chat. <laughs> Let's go. Would you like to play first? Yes, I think they're playing in the challenge too. I wonder if they're playing Infect again. Would you like to play first? Yes. I'm going to put them on Infect. I'll keep this hand for sure. Because I think they're playing Mono White in the challenge. I just checked out their stream and said hi. Um, <laughs> but I think they're probably playing Infect in the leagues, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if I'm supposed to just lead Fjord in this hand, with this hand. It's not terrible, especially against Infect. I don't really know. I mean, I can just Fairy Seer here. But I think I'm going to be a little bit greedy and just lead Fjord, get my red source down. Either they're on mono white or, yeah, they're on mono white. Okay. I still like leading Fjord because now I can go kill this now plus Fairy Seer. I think I'm going to play Fairy Seer rather than Preordain here. I think I'll go bottom top. Good top top even, but I think bottom top is better. Just kill this now while they can't protect it. We have a lot of removal spells we can find still. 
I just like killing their creature again while they can't protect it. Wow, they just tap out for a Thewer armor. That's so aggressive. That's so crazy aggressive. I think I'm going to go Fairy Seer into Preordain looking for a Lightning Bolt or a Scred, and I have like five looks at it. Yeah. There it is. Let's just go top, top, land, Preordain, top, top, kill this now, attack for one. That was like super aggro. Yeah, they just can see. <laughs> Sorry, you I got I got your number today. I guess. Jeez, curfew coming in. I think I want all this. They know about curfew now, though. <laughs> They're on a different deck. Okay, but it's a similar style deck. They like to play these these all in these all in type decks. Behold, fairy seer. Or Spire Golem, not I was thinking about Fairy Seer. But I don't think I want to side out Fairy Seer. Maybe take take out double Spire Golem. I'm not torn. Like this can be good in this matchup. I just don't know. It's nice to have in the 75. Could take out one cantrip. Let's just do this this time. I like to kind of switch it up what I do. Not do the exact same side, we're just similar. Let's just do this, run it. All right, we have to mulligan. The one Ash Baron's hand does not work. This hand looks great. Just put back an island. Lead Fjord, have removal spells and Spire Golem going. That's scary, but beatable. Ooh, Sandstorm. Let's go. They could just make a huge thing here. They have only one land. Looks like it. All right, well, I can spell that are counter a one drop. That's good. Ooh, Scred is out. also good, actually. I can't kill this yet, but I can start countering at least one play with this spell setter and then buy time. Maybe I find another red source. Vault Scourge. Wow, I actually cannot counter that, but I can just kill it. So... I'll just take two, and I think I just use a braid because it costs two mana. I'm just gonna braid this now to be mana efficient. All right, they have a two six. Counter spell is good, let's pass. We are gonna need to find something else, but we have time. A two six isn't doing that much and we can counter some stuff. Another land is scary. This card is like probably the most annoying, just because it's a one mana zero four, it doesn't die to lightning bolt and stuff. Um, I think I just spell better counter this. I could just let it resolve and then just bolt it end of turn. Maybe I will just do that. All right, I'm just gonna do that. All right, I'll take two. It's not bad to get the spell starter down, especially if I draw like a ninja or something. So if they try to protect this, uh, it's actually not bad for me. Then I can counter with spell starter. All right, they just let that happen. It's reasonable. Okay, we're getting close to killing this. Not getting close to threshold though. We have time. Benevolent bodyguard. All right, I think I spell starter that one. And I still have a counter spell. Now we want to draw ninja or oh ethereal armor. Target this. Could let it resolve. It makes their thing four power. They get the counter anyway. Then I kind of have to draw curfew in order to deal with it, because this makes it a lot bigger. Alright, let's just counter this. Not sure about that one, but this gives me the out to still potentially scred this at some point. I guess they have Hyena Umber also. Looking sketchy here. I think I just attack. 
leave up my removal. I cannot sandstorm yet. Next turn, I'll probably just leave spells that are back to chump. Maybe I'll wait one more turn, depending on what they do. Oh, they're just going for damage here. I actually don't hate this from my side. Sure. If I get hit for six, I probably will leave this back now. They're only on two lands, which is kind of scary for me, honestly. Right, Ponder's great. Curfew one time? Not quite so lucky, but I do have double spread option here. And I have this Sandstorm as well, which is pretty good. I think I'll just draw Brainstorm and then cast Brainstorm right now. It's kind of funky, but I think I like it. Kind of rips through my deck a little bit faster. I don't think I want to go for the double spread. Ooh, Augur is actually good. This sandstorm might actually be where it might be what I want. I'm trying to think, because I also want this preordain. I could die unless I weave up double scred or go for double scred. Oh, I guess I can't because they have hyena umbra. So I have to hope they don't have protection, basically. So I guess it's pretty obvious. I just have to ignore this preordain, I think. Go for auger and hope they don't have a way to give this pro blue. It's not a great spot to be. I guess I can just attack. Yeah, because double thread with their hyena umber is not actually good. Hyena umber is definitely annoying too. They have three cards left. They do have the emergence gate. Okay, they got us. All right. We'll get this last game on the draw on the play. They know about the curfew, but is there that much they can do? I'm not sure. All right, let's just submit, run it. I'll see you in game three. All right, game three, we get to be on the play. This hand's kind of sketchy. It's close, but I don't know if it's good enough. Like, I have to just play Fjord Go, I draw a card, and then I preordain, and if I miss on land, it's really bad. I'll just keep. <laughs> they mulligan to six. They mulligan to five. That's more typical for that deck. <laughs> they mulligan to four. Oh no, Ryuk. <laughs> this is where I say, not like this. But, come on, that mono white deck is so inconsistent. A Mulligan to three? Oh no, did I keep a non Mulligan to two? Oh no. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to be rude. They might just concede here. Okay, they're they're keeping two. <laughs> oh god, it's unlucky. Vault Scourge, okay. Do I miss on lands and looks look silly here? Top, top, play Fjord, pass. If they play another creature that dies to Cannonade. Okay, pro red. Okay. That's something. It's definitely something. They have zero cards left, though. This only has protection from red. What I can do, actually, is play Ash Barons without cycling it. Oh wait, I can just play Cannonade. Oh, this has pro-red. No, I can't. This I can't deal damage to it. Yeah, I'm gonna just play Ash Barons, play Fairies here, leave up Spell Stutter Sprite, and then get Ninja going. Oh, okay, this is great. I think I actually just bottom the Lightning Bolt, top the Spell Stutter, and then I can just counter like everything they do. That was a good two, <laughs> surprisingly, but I think I'm fine. 
So I can just block here. Maybe I was supposed to pl play an end of turn spells that are there. I think I was supposed to. Um, see, if I attack, get ninja going, and they suit this up anymore, I might lose to that. I guess I could find a curfew eventually. I think I'm going to go for ninja as bad as that is. I, I want to just find more lands, and then if I like hit more lands here, then I can um, just like continually draw cards and just get out of this. Yeah. All right, I'll just leave up spells that are now for a one drop. Yeah, I'll just counter this. I don't know if they're gonna have another one drop here. They might. Ooh, okay. They have a three three. Now are we gonna lose to a mold of two? We might. I, I still think I'm fine here because I can go attack with these ninja draw a million cards we can eventually find curfew now i think land and fairy seer um and now this spire golem is actually good counter spell is not bad either i just don't know if i need it i'd rather find curfew faster i think no, it's got to be good enough. Top, top. And now I, I'll take one more hit off this, and then I should be fine. Because I can now spell flutter anything they draw. And yeah, I'm taking three, but then I'm drawing a million cards still. And then I go land, attack with all. And then the Spire Golem is going to be great, because this is I can counter everything for the rest of the game now, pretty much. And the Spire Golem can hold this back. So, I mean, we almost lost to a Mold of Two here, but I think, we, I think we're I think we fine. That deck, jeez. Mold of Two, huh? Yeah, I'm not going to let that resolve. No way. I guess they can start staying back. But even that is okay. Land. Deciding if I want to like attack, like I could attack with all these things to draw one card and they eat my ninja. Um, is that worth? I think not. I think I'll just wait. Yeah, this is protection from red. Interesting, interesting. If I draw more ninjas, it's good. If I draw cantrips, it's good. I guess they can wait and try to play a bunch of spells in one turn. I'm just going to keep waiting here. Double counter. They'll draw more lands at some point. I can draw cantrips. But yeah, this is a mold of two from the opponent. Okay, we're just drawing lands. It's not good. They're going to be able to play multiple spells here soon. I might have to go for an attack. We're obviously a little bit flooded here. Okay, there's Ninja. So now I go for attack with these four. If they block Spell Flutter, that's fine. If they block Ninja, that's fine too. Because now I Ninja back Spell Stutter. And then I have even more counter spells. They might walk here. Yeah, they're going to. That's actually a good play from the opponent. But I get to draw three cards this turn. I think blocking ninja might actually be better. But I'm going to do this. I could kill this to prevent the lifelink. But I don't think I want to do that. I don't think the lifelink is really what matters. I just need to find curfew at some point. Okay. I have a million things going on. Let's just go fairy seer. I can set up an auger here. Still have multiple counters up. Yeah, bottom. 
top, and then I'm not even going to augur yet because I want to draw that spell setter sprite to just be able to counter literally everything. And I'll never cast this cannonade this turn, this game. So I'll just discard it. And next turn, I'll attack with everything. Vault Scourge. Just spell setter that. Now I might be able to set up a lethal attack. Gut shot the spell setter sprite. Um, I can just counter the gut shot. I think that's fine. GG's. <laughs> GG's, Ryuk. We, we got him this time. <laughs> so we still got the 4 1. Played horribly in round one, but this deck is good. I think I played three leagues with it. I got 5 0. A 3-2 that I could have turned into a 4-1. I just think I misplayed once. And then I misplayed badly round one this league and still 4 one it. So this deck is good. If I was going to play a challenge tomorrow and I might play one on Sunday, uh, I would run this deck. And I would run it as is, no changes. Um, let's go look at the list. This is the list. Um, looks great to me. I think that one behold is fine. It's not incredible, but it could be another fairies here. Um, but you want more spells for Augur. We had Ryuk's number this league, so that, that was fun. My channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. My name is Max. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.